Hi, I'm Jason Horsch, owner of Xanadu Gallery in Scottsdale and Pine Top, Arizona, and this is Ask a Gallery Owner. Today's question is a continuation of a conversation we've been having over the last several weeks about approaching galleries um, when you're seeking representation and some of the logistics of working with galleries. And today's question is a follow-on question from a response I gave last week about how long it takes for a gallery to decide whether they're going to represent an artist. And this question comes from Karen. And Karen asks, if an artist shows you their portfolio and you think the work is good but not priced in the proper range, do you discuss it with the artist or do you say thanks but no? I know you say do research, but I have found what I think my work is compatible to is not necessarily what others do. Yes, Karen, pricing is one of the greatest challenges I know for artists who are looking to get into galleries or even looking to show their work in art festivals and generate sales. Uh, and certainly when you're thinking about approaching galleries, you want to work towards having your pricing at a level that's commensurate with what's showing in the gallery. And so I do recommend research. But you bring up a good point. There is a lot of variety when it comes to price points for art. Many other variables involved, including how long an artist has been creating, what kind of demand they've created for their work along with a number of other issues. And so it can feel a bit confusing and confounding to try and set the pricing of your work, even if you've done some research. And so we wanna do the best that we can to establish a price point that's going to value your work at a level that makes sense in the venues that you're trying to target. And so if that's galleries, you wanna have done some research of other artists who are doing work that's similar to yours, showing in the kind of galleries you'd wanna be showing in. And so once we've done that, we can then go forward with some level of confidence. But even then, you may find that with any particular gallery that you're approaching, the gallery owner may have a different opinion. And so you're right to ask, will the gallery owner help me? If they like my work, will they work with me to set the pricing where they think it should be? Generally speaking, your work is going to be the most important element of the interaction that you're having with a gallery owner. And as they look at your work and respond to it, if it resonates with them and they feel like it might also resonate with their clientele, they are going to be willing to talk to you about adjustments they think you might need to be, might need to be making in terms of pricing or other issues like framing and presentation. Gallery owners are not, necessarily looking for excuses to kick you out. Oh, we like your work, but and send you packing. They are looking for work that they feel is going to appeal to their clientele. And if your work does that, they're going to be able to see that and work with you to come up with some approaches to pricing your work, or whatever else needs to be done to adjust it to fit into their gallery. If you're already showing in other galleries, or perhaps you are participating in art festivals or studio tours, and typically the gallery owner is going to see that your pricing probably needs to be a little higher than it is. And so there may need to be some adjustments and, um, some compromise initially in order to get to the price point that will allow you to continue to show in your current venues, but also start to meet their needs. Now, having said that, if you are in the ballpark of a price point that will make sense in the gallery that you're showing, in the vast majority of cases, a gallery owner is going to initially at least defer to your value that you've set. And, and if that value is in range for them, they're not going to be too afraid to have your work in the gallery at a price point that might be a little bit lower than what they would prefer. They know that ultimately, as they get you into the gallery and start to show your work and begin generating a following for the work and then sales, that they can then make adjustments to the pricing and start edging your pricing upward to meet their ultimate expectations. So pricing, even though it does feel a little bit like voodoo when you're trying to come up with the right price point, ultimately we're gonna work through a process of a kind of trial and error to get to a price point that's optimal for everyone involved, you, the gallery, and the clientele. And it's just gonna be very rare that price alone would be enough to disqualify you in the eyes of a gallery owner. If you've researched and found that there are other artists any other artists 
who are showing in galleries that you would aspire to show in, who are pricing their work in roughly the same range that you are, you can then go forward in confidence knowing that you can work through any of the issues that come up with the pricing. I hope that helps, Karen. Of course, if we can continue this conversation or take other questions on pricing or approaching galleries, please leave your question in the comments below. And if you find these videos helpful, be sure to subscribe and follow me for future responses to your questions. Thanks for joining me.